Hello, I'm Dan. Welcome to Ocean Science After School. Um, and today I'm going to be teaching you about a very important topic, which is overfishing. Overfishing is when fishermen and women are catching fish faster than the fish can reproduce. So what this does is that it means that the fish population is going down because they're being ca caught and killed faster than they can make young and um, keep their population up. So this overfishing leads to many species of fish becoming endangered and eventually extinct. And now overfishing happens for two main reasons. The first reason that it happens is that fish are constantly in demand, that companies and, and restaurants and businesses are always in need of fish. So what this does is that it, it incentivizes fishing companies to go out and catch as much fish as they can to make the most amount of money. So what this does is that it means that there's a lot of competition and that there are a lot of boats out there catching a lot of fish and making a lot of money off of it. But what this does is that because there are so many boats and because they catch so much fish, that they're catching more fish than can be reproduced, which makes the population go down. And another thing with this is that because companies are always in need of fish, um, fishing companies are fishing year round and more than ever, they are starting their fishing season way earlier in the year, um, which gives them more time to catch fish which is a problem because the more time that they have to catch the fish, the more fish they can catch. And again, the more fish that they catch, the less that the fish can reproduce, and this damages the population. And this is very important to ecosystems because when you damage the population of one fish, it damages the entire ecosystem. So if you're overfishing one fish that is a very small fish that a lot of fish um, are prey on, so... If you get rid of that one fish, then the predators don't have anything to eat, and then that gets rid of the whole predator population, and then that causes way more problems for the ecosystem. So it's a very, very important thing, and it's a chain reaction. Overfishing um, is very important to ocean ecosystems. So now we're going to do some activities uh, about it to help you really learn hands-on why it happens and how it happens. So what you are going to need for this experiment, you're going to need two spoons, you're going to need a plate, you're going to need a cup, you're going to need something to time with, and you are going to need some kind of fish. So you can use anything that comes in uh, a big supply. You can use uh, Cheez-Its or Legos or anything that is small and comes in a very large number. For mine, I'm going to be using some goldfish uh, to really symbolize the fish part, and that's all you need. All right, so what we our first activity is going to be um, looking at how fishermen and women are expanding the fishing season. And so what you want to do is you want to put 15 of your fish on the plate and this plate is um, the water or the ocean um, and so I have 15 goldfish here and you want to set a 15 second timer for yourself and you want to get one of your spoons ready this is your fishing rod um, and so what you want to do is you want to try and catch as many fish as you can and put them into this cup from your pond okay so ready here we go my timer has started. Oh, my time is out. Okay. So, that wasn't the best. I got six fish. So now what we're going to do is that the population of the fish is now going to double. So if I count how many I have left, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, I'm going to double the population of the fish in the thing. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So now you're gonna say, how is that overfishing? Because now there's more fish than we even started out with. Well, now that this was a successful fishing season, next year, when it comes time to fish, 
we are going to go out even earlier and we're going to have even more time to catch the fish. So now what I want you to do is I want you to, instead of setting a 15 second timer, to set a 30 second timer and do the same thing and see how many fish you can catch in that 30 seconds. All right, so here we go. Oh, and my time is out. So now, because we had a longer fishing season, we were allowed to fish more goldfish, and now we're left with only two. So again, it's the end of the year, so the fish are going to reproduce, so I'm going to double the amount that I have on the plate. And now, because we had such a successful fishing season, we're gonna go back out there, and we're going to set 45 seconds for ourselves. Because now, we're gonna go out even earlier in the season and try and get the fish uh, as much as we can. So ready? Here we go. 45 seconds. And so now, because we fished earlier and earlier in the season, the fish are now extinct. Because there's no more, because we caught all of them, because we kept going out earlier and earlier and having more time. And that is exactly what happens during overfishing. All right, so now for the second activity, you're going to need your two spoons. And this one is going to simul simulate the competition uh, in the fishing industry. So the first year, you're going to start out with just one spoon, your one fisherman. And so now what you're going to do is you're going to set 15 seconds to, again, fish as many into this cup as you can with your one spoon. All right, go. and my time is up. So now, again, the fish now have time to reproduce. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I add seven more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There we go. So now there is another uh, fishery that wants in. And so now you're trying to do is you're trying to catch the most amount of fish that you can with two. So 15 seconds again, the time is not going to change this time. So ready, go. You can work together with these two spoons. They don't have to be competing fisheries. Just pretend that it's one fishery that got multiple boats. So now, okay, my time is up and there are two fish left. So now, again, they're gonna reproduce, double the population, and here we are again. They're competitive and they still, no matter what, they're gonna need to catch fish to make money to sell to restaurants or other, other factories, um, other places. So now what they're going to do is that they're going to go fishing again for the new year. So ready, here we go. And again, there are no more fish left. They, got, they went extinct because of the overfishing, because now there are more and more fisheries that are wanting to get in and they collectively can catch the fish faster than the fish can reproduce. And so that is just some of the reasons why uh, overfishing happens and why it's so dangerous to uh, ocean ecosystems because now uh, with overfishing, there are more and more fish that are becoming extinct because there are multiple fisheries trying to catch them or the fishing season is just continually growing and because of that, they don't have time to reproduce and catch up. All right, well, I hope you learned a lot from those activities. Remember to stay safe, stay healthy, and check back on Ocean Science After School for more fun activities and more fun lessons so that you can keep learning and keep experimenting and just make sure that you stay safe and healthy.